It's a major new technology with a potentially massive market size. The technology is called gene therapy, and it's revolutionary in that it aims to treat the underlying genetic drivers of disease with just one dose. Now, there are already a couple of gene therapies on the market, but they treat extremely rare diseases. Now, the first gene therapies for hemophilia are on the horizon, and analysts estimate it represents a $20 billion revenue opportunity in the U.S. alone if all 20,000 patients here were treated. So it follows that there are a lot of competitors vying for dominance. Biomarin, Spark Therapeutics, Unicure, Sangamo, and drug giant Pfizer. And because there's so much excitement, there's a lot of stock volatility. Just yesterday, Unicure gained 36% on an update for its hemophilia program. But it goes the other way, too. Spark Therapeutics has taken some major tumbles as it's presented data, often on just a couple of patients at a time. Now, the next catalyst for the space could be a major medical conference in a couple weeks, the American Society of Hematology meeting. And while there aren't major updates planned there on hemophilia, the sensitivity around this area can mean that big stock moves can happen on any new information. And most importantly, it's exciting for patients too. Today on Power Lunch, we'll have the story of a grandfather with hemophilia who entered a clinical trial of one of these gene therapies to try to find a cure for his baby grandson. That's a great story.